Hey, I'm my face story if you guys don't know who I am. So basically, I used to have really bad cystic acne and since it's been cleared, I've been left with these acne scars. So what I've been doing recently has been using the Banish Acne Scar Starter Kit and that is what I'm going to be showing you guys today. It comes with the Banish Oil, the Activated Charcoal Clay Mask, the Pumpkin Enzyme Mask, the vitamin C beauty elixir, a pen stamp, and the banisher. And the best part, it comes with the pore smasher. How long have you been using the kit until you noticed a change? So I've been using it for about three months and I think that I saw a change with my skin, like the brightness, probably right away. But to see a difference with the scars, it definitely took a couple times, so maybe two months. I'm gonna use the pumpkin enzyme mask today cause I love pumpkins. So the pumpkin enzyme mask, ooh, here we go, is really good, oh my days, is really good at brightening your skin and it's good as like a chemical exfoliation because it helps to shed away uh, your excess and like dead skin cells. I don't know if you guys hear my dogs going ham in the back, but they're just like playing like fools. Hopefully it's not too distracting. So after I paint this on, I leave it on for about, uh, I'm only gonna leave it on for a little bit, maybe like seven minutes. And then you can just sit around and look and smell like a pumpkin. Don't eat it though, because I actually tried eating it twice. Okay, I tried once, it wasn't good. So I tried another time. I don't know why I didn't learn my lesson, but it still wasn't good. So just don't eat it. Like I have dinosaur arms right now. I read you had tried Retin-A. How is your experience with that versus Banish? Okay, so I was on Retin-A um, for about six months and I would use it every night at bed. I was on like one of the stronger percentages. I think it was like 0.5%. I don't know what the strongest is, that, that might be it, but that's what I was on. And it worked, I think it worked pretty good. Like it's good to a certain extent. I feel like I kind of tapped out my potential with that. Um, and it also makes your skin really, really dry. So if your skin gets irritated easily, then your skin will probably be very dry a lot of the time. Um, but I stopped using it because I read, well, I had been breaking out right here and it wouldn't go away and I didn't know why. And I was like, what, what is happening? Like, and it was just right here, like on my smile lines. And I literally had no clue why. And it, apparently the overuse of retinoids, I think it's considered a retinoid, hopefully I'm not wrong. Um, you can get something called perioreal, probably saying this wrong, perioreal dermatitis. And it's like a skin rash that you can get for like the rest of your life and it's super hard to treat. So I felt like I was starting to develop that and that is one of the main reasons I stopped using it. And I also wanted to go like the more organic route. I look like a crazy Felicia. So yeah, I think Banish is like a lot less harsh on your skin. I don't think it's harsh at all. You know, it's all natural, all organic products. And yeah, I really like it, especially compared to Retin-A. And it smells good. Like, I don't know. I like putting food on my face, you know? You're so pretty. You're so pretty. So, I usually only use, like I said, it comes with the charcoal mask and the pumpkin mask, but I only use one at a time usually, um, just my preference. So this is almost dry and then I'll be able to take it off. How often do I do derma rolling? So you wanna do it once every two weeks. That's about how often I do it. You can do it, you know, I wouldn't do it any more than that, but you can do it definitely less than that. Um, so about two weeks is the time that it takes for your skin to kind of like reproduce more collagen and then you can get in there again. Any moisture for your skin? <laughs> Let me just 
for your skin at night before you go to bed. I get breakout very easily. Yeah, so it doesn't come in the starter kit, but I do use their vitamin C cream uh, before I go to bed. And I really like that a lot. It's not like a heavy moisturizer and it definitely like absorbs very quickly. How bad were your scars? So yeah, my scars, I mean, I had severe cystic like nodular acne. My scars were pretty bad. Um, honestly, and I know this is gonna sound probably kind of stupid, but once my acne went away and I was left with scars, I still like, cause I didn't know, I thought that it was like still acne or like I didn't know what it was. Um, I was like, why, like I, my acne's gone, but like what is this on my skin? Yeah, I definitely had some pretty bad scarring. I don't know if you guys can like, well probably not with the face mask, but it's definitely like a lot smoother and a lot more shallow since I've been using the starter kit. Um, I mean, I don't know. You could go on my Instagram and look. <laughs> they used to be like a lot worse than they are now. That's it, that's all I got. Um, results from derma rolling. Uh, yeah, so I've been using it for about, what I say, three months? Probably took about, I would say three or four sessions. But like when I started using the Banish products themselves, you definitely tell a difference with your skin like almost right away. Like within the first week, you can tell that it's like glowing and it looks healthier. But yeah, from derma rolling to like see a difference with the actual like pitting and scars, it takes like, I would say about two months. What I like to do is take pictures so I can kind of like track my progress. I know that's helped me and that's helped a lot of people as well because sometimes you don't feel like anything's changed. Sorry, I'm trying to like, <laughs> there we go. Sometimes you don't feel like anything's changed um, when it actually has. So you can definitely use the pumpkin enzyme mask for active acne. Um, it'll dry up anything that you have, which is really cool. So like the pumpkin enzyme mask and the activated charcoal clay mask, I like to use both of them as a spot treatment as well as a mask because I think they're both really good at just like drying up any active acne that you have. Oh, and I'm gonna warn you guys now, I have like super sensitive skin, so my face, I mean, I have ginger skin, like ginger, ginger skin. So my face is gonna get like super red. Um, I think I said this last time, but I was like, I wish I could be one of those beauty gurus where they like take off the mask and it's like, oh, so soft. No, mine's like, a cherry tomato. Yeah, I mean, if your skin is identical to mine, then I would definitely try it. It's worked the best out of anything I've tried for my scars so far. I just wanna make sure that I have a completely like clean base to start with. Does it hurt when you derma roll on your face? I'm kind of afraid of it. No, it doesn't hurt at all. So the needle size is actually only 0.5 millimeters. So it's just long enough to increase collagen production, but yet not long enough to make you bleed, which is good because you don't want you don't want no bloody bloody face. Um. Okay. So ooh. now to just like tone my skin a little bit, I'm gonna go in with the beauty elixir, the vitamin C beauty elixir. This stuff is like. And now I'm gonna use a pore smasher. So. I don't know if you guys have ever iced your face or heard of icing like your acne, but I swear I've been using this thing like not every night. I think you can use it two times a day, but I've only been using it in the morning like before I put my makeup on or my moisturizer or anything. Icing your skin is like amazing. It shrinks like your pores around here and it'll also help like if you have dark circles and puffiness and it'll take down swelling from any active acne that you have, which is awesome. Because I feel like when it's not as swollen, you know, it just doesn't, it doesn't hurt as much and doesn't bother you, so. So I usually do this for about three to five minutes, sometimes longer, because it just it feels so good. <laughs> I don't know, I think Daisy usually does the lives on here. I've never done a Facebook Live. Um, I've done Instagram Live, and I think I'm gonna continue to do both. So, get used to seeing this ugly mug. Just kidding. 
Just kidding, just kidding. So now that my face is like slightly numbed from using this, I'm gonna go in with the banisher. So you can see on here the tiny needles and it kind of just moves in like a pin, a pinwheel motion. So you just wanna go four times in each direction and I'm gonna use this as a mirror so I'm gonna get a little close. So, ooh. I don't have like any active spots right now, which is like amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna start. I like to gently pull my skin a little bit too. Um, I just feel like it helps me get in there a little bit deeper. So someone had asked me if this hurt. I don't know if anyone in here has joined that's new. And no, it doesn't hurt one bit. Um, the thing I can compare it to is just the same as a sunburn. That's literally it. And you just like, one, two, three, four. And I like to go diagonally too. One, two, three, four. And this one I went this way, so now I'm gonna go this way. And then I'll back up and I'll show you guys kind of the difference. I mean, obviously you can see that my face is red and there's not gonna be like an immediate difference, but you can tell which side I've done. I always love, I don't know if you any of you guys already own this, but I always love waking up the next day and like kind of running to the mirror almost to look at my skin. Um, because it looks so good, it looks so smooth. And I've noticed that that smoothness has just been staying like consistent. So it's super awesome. Super awesome. So if you guys want to comment and let me know what you have tried for your acne scars and how it has worked for you, you should let me know. Because I think this works pretty dang good. I also just, I don't know, I've been really into like, really into. <laughs> I've been loving um, just like natural and organic ways more than just being prescribed like a cream or a pill. It's awesome because derma rolling, you use your own body to reproduce more collagen instead of, you know, getting like skin fillers or something like that. So yeah, if you guys have never seen me before, um, I said this at the beginning, but I'll say it again because I don't think there's that many people on here. Um, my Instagram is my face story, and you guys can look at it. It's my face story, like a book. <laughs> and you guys can look at it if you want and see um, kind of like the progression of my face from like bad cystic acne to bad scarring, hyperpigmentation, and then to now where it's like I have almost, almost there, almost got it. So I just think it's like crazy that I only had acne. Um, ooh, that feels good. I only had, like I, you know, I would always get a pimple every now and then, but I didn't get severe or like cystic acne until I turned 21. And I just think that's so insane. Like I didn't have any changes in my diet, I didn't have any changes in my skincare, my foundation, like nothing. It just happened. And that's just so insane to me that it can just happen like that. I think it taught me definitely to be like a more understanding person because before that, you know, you're one of those people who's like, 
why is their skin like that? Or like, why don't they, you know, just do this, just do that. But how easy is it to tell someone to just do it than to try to understand their situation and like show them compassion? No, I'm saying my acne literally, it, it sprung out of nowhere. And my dermatologist said that it was genetic. Um, my dad had had really bad cystic acne in his 20s. He just had it like the same as me. He had it for like a year and then his disappeared. Mine didn't disappear. I had to take like, you know, medication for it to go away, but. I'm gonna like get in on this one cause these little guys need to go. And then I didn't, ha so as you can probably tell, I only had it right here and then I have like a line right here. It's like the strangest pattern. I didn't have any right here. Ooh, that was it apparently. And then I didn't have any right here. So I usually don't do this area. And then I'm gonna disinfect it again. So I'm gonna put it back into the rubbing alcohol. And okay, so the pen stamp works the same way as the banisher. But the great thing about the pen stamp is you can use it if you have active acne. So like with the banisher, you wouldn't wanna use it because you could accidentally roll over the active acne and then it could spread bacteria. But the pen stamp, it's literally a little stamp. Can you see it? Oh, you can kind of see them. So there's like little tiny needles, like little, little tiny needles sticking out. And you can use it to go around any active acne that you have. I have one that's like kind of right here, but I don't have any scars on there. So I'm gonna use it. Um, I'll just use it as like a more targeted way to treat deeper spots, so. I have some like deeper-ish spots right here that I'm gonna use it on. And you just stamp, just like that, that's it. And like you can do just a gentle rocking motion. Well, that's, that's what I do. You can do whatever you want, but <laughs> that's what I do. And then, you know what? These ones are super hard to get to, so let me do these too. Okay, speaking of just randomly getting acne, also, how crazy is it that I didn't pop any of these pimples, okay? Because I was always told that if you pop them, that it'll scar. Uh-uh, that's not true at all. It doesn't matter. It's all about genetics. I had no clue. I was like, oh, I'll be fine. Like, I'm just, I'm not gonna touch them. I'm not gonna pop them. Everything's gonna be fine. What? Why didn't anyone tell me? I didn't know. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Oh, I had another comment. Someone said that they love my IG. Thank you. Thank you for checking it out. And then now I'm gonna use the Banish Oil. And so this is formerly known as the Vitamin C Serum. If you guys have used that before, it's the same exact thing. I'm just gonna put a couple drops in my hands. Definitely make sure that your hands are clean since you have like these micro channels on your skin. And I'm just gonna pat it in. Just tap, tap, tappy. And then this time actually, because last time I said, hey guys, I'll post a picture in the morning and I'll show you how awesome it looks. And I totally forgot, but this time I pinky, pinky promise that I will. Somebody said, what happened after using that product? Okay, so the Derma Roller, creates tiny micro channels. Um, like I said, it's just deep enough. The needles on it are just deep enough to stimulate like collagen production, but they're not deep enough to make you bleed. So it will make your face a little bit red. It might sting a little bit like a sunburn, but it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt at all. So after using that product, the vitamin C or the banish oil, banish oil will stimulate more collagen production. So that's what's going on right now. My normal morning and night routine. Um, okay, so in the morning, okay, let me, let me start with night because I feel like that makes more sense in my mind. I look like such a turd with this bun. So at night I get home, I wash my makeup off. I just use like a gentle sensitive skin. I think it's like the Neutrogena cleanser. And then after that, I use my cellar water because I feel like it just gets more off and it helps to get the eye makeup off without just scrubbing and rubbing. And then after that, I use, what is it? 
the vitamin C beauty elixir, which is just like a toner. And then I use the vitamin C cream, and that's my night routine. And then when I wake up in the morning, I use the micellar water, and then depending on how dry my skin is, I'll use either the vitamin C cream, or I will use the banish oil. Because I feel like this actually works great as like a primer under makeup too. Which one is best for ice pick scars, the roller or the pen? So they do the same exact thing. Um, I just like to use the pen because I feel like in my mind, I'm like, oh, I have more control. So I can just like boop, boop the spots that I want to boop, boop. Um, so in my mind, I don't know. I feel like I would just get both. <laughs> Um, cause the roller is great, like at getting everything, getting your whole face. And then the pen is just really good for like targeted areas. Um, I mean, you could use it if it's supposed to be for, you know, if you have active acne, you can go around it, but I don't have any right now. So I just used it as like to target the deeper ones. Did I answer your question? I hope I did. So yeah, um, I would say to get both or just either one if you don't want to buy both because I think either one would help. The roller will help the most if you have more scarring. Have you tried other acne scarring treatments such as laser or skin needling before taking on the derma roller? Uh, no, I have not. Um, so the only thing that I have tried is the, I've tried Retin-A and then I've tried other derma rollers which, no. Do not get one off Amazon. That was like the worst mistake ever because you know, it's not regulated. They can like make it out of anything. And then I heard that they've been having a problem with Amazon because I got a vitamin C serum. I was like, this is really weird. Like it doesn't feel right, doesn't smell right. So they've been like repackaging products, like pouring out the product and then just putting something else in it. So just, yeah, I would stay away from that. But no, I have not tried that. Um, I am like a college student right now. And I also have like a ton of jobs to pay for, you know, my student loans, bills, etc. So I just don't have the money right now, but maybe eventually one day, we'll see. I don't even know, like, cause I thought, you know, I'll use the derma roller and then after I'll get something done like um, laser treatment or skin needling. But at this rate, I don't even know if I'm going to need it because I feel like this is working so well. I'm amazed. I don't have to say that either, just so you know. <laughs> I was gonna try though, cause we have an esthetician at my work and she said there wasn't any downtime with it. They have a skin peel, um, like a, I don't know what kind of skin peel it is. I'll have to check on that. But it's supposed to be for like aging skin. It's supposed to help wrinkles. So I think that it might help scarring too. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll have to check on it. Would you recommend getting the whole kit first? Um, are you talking about the starter kit that I just used or just try one product? Is it for, do you have active acne or do you have scarring or do you have both? You have both active acne and scarring. So yeah, I think it would be a good idea to invest in the starter kit because it comes with the charcoal mask, the pumpkin mask, the pore smasher, all that stuff. Um, and it also has the pin stamp in it. So I think that would be your best bet because the pumpkin mask and the charcoal mask both work really well uh, to dry up any active acne that you have. The pumpkin mask, like I said, is really good for like a exfoliation. And then the charcoal mask is really good. I always use it like on this area. If you have any blackheads or blemishes in this area, it'll dry up that really fast. Have you tried the battalion kit? What are your thoughts? I have the starter kit. But I'm really interested in that as well. Yeah, I'm like, I think I'm a maskaholic because I just, I love masks. Even if they don't do anything, I just, they make me feel fancy. So I love putting on masks. Um, yeah, I have tried the Batillion kit. I love it. I think it works really well. I am into the idea about multi-masking that it's supposed to, you know, target specific areas. I can get into that one on another Instagram live if you want. Um, because I need to read more about it. I know one has like milk powder, one is the charcoal mask, and then the third one, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I know that it's pink. And now everyone's like, you have a color in your face. <laughs> your face is red. Yes, Felicia's, because I just rolled some needles on it. 
duh. All right, so I am going to get off of here. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to message me on Instagram. Um, you can message me, I'm always on Snapchat. Yeah, so thanks for watching and it was pretty fun talking to you guys. Oh, you're beautiful.